They call me Squirrel. What's going on, folks? How we doing? The Squirrel Squad is in the house. I am the Squirrel, and we are about to fulfill our Four Ronnies Friday promise with the second of our two Ronnies today. If you're new here, hit the subscription button. We do Four Ronnies Friday every Friday. We watch some two Ronnies together. We laugh, we commentate, we react, we have some fun. If that's what you're into, if you're into the comedy, if you're into anything British culture, come on over, make some suggestions. We do a little bit of everything around here. We do a lot of comedy. We do a little bit of everything else. It's a good time. I just did a recording for um, the other side of Squirrel and did a reaction. And uh, I didn't, it, it was, and it was like a probably, I was probably recording for 20 minutes. It was like a 13 minute long video. So all the time I talk, I didn't record it. Anyways, I'm done. Here we go. Uh, this is Space Wars, Two Ronnies. It's one of the musical pieces, I believe. So here we go. <laughs> It's like a mix between Willy Wonka and Star Wars, like Willy Wonka and the Star Wars factory. Oh, hey, look at this. Luke and Leia, Darth Vader. Whoa, 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 whoa. Serious fighting going on. Leia, just stand there and spin around and be confused because there's people dancing around you. That's very confusing. Just do that. Okay, that's what I'll do. What's going on? This is a really long, uh, I mean, we're at a minute into the video. And all we've seen so far is a fake lightsaber fight. That's a really weird opening. I think the bread and butter is about to come out of the tunnel, though. Yeah. <laughs> RBPO. Ronnie Barker PO. I love it. <laughs> RBPO. Oh, yeah. Yes! Yes! Uh, RC Tarsi. Ro Ronnie Corbett Tarsi. Uh... That's so cool to use our initial things, but. He's got a cog for a nose. It looks like a friggin' fire plug. <laughs> I've never seen a golden fire plug that's what it looks like. We're not robots, always watching fun and solid hard work. Oh, look at that. Listen, real quick. Ronnie Corbett as R2-D2 is not something I ever thought that I needed in my life. But now that I've seen it, I needed this in my life. And I didn't even know it. Look at that. That's, that's gorgeous. I am quite a busy bee Under seal to Stop the leaks in our hydraulics Ten, two, one We'll never pass the M.O.T. We fully automatic range To Dr. Space Maneuver Cause father was an IBM And mommy was a Hoover But ma and ma they flew a fuse When their genetic data Produced a big computer And a pocket calculator Alright, Ronnie Uh First of all, it was a weird transition. They were jumping on stage, and all of a sudden, they looked like they were in different colors, and they're up in front of a green screen. Uh, whatever. It's, it's, it's their sketch, sketch not mine. Ronnie, Ronnie Barker was, I guess, like a piece of tape on his face. I don't know if they ran out of makeup, so they put tape on, or if there was something that was stuck there that I missed that is now fallen or something. I have no idea. Transistorized, we've been advised to yeah. modulate our system for our junctions get malfunctions and our printed circuits get a back. Our switches get the twitches, so don't have to think or twist them, or you might adjust a bit that's fast and get a nasty black. We are to miss. Guided missiles, screws and fuses, bleeps and whistles. Just an android and a robot. He's a hydro. He's a 
rather low bot transistor right <laughs> I was gonna take the shot at Ronnie for being short, I love it. Nice our service is available. Do one and all just give a call, no job too small. We'll have a bank here in the yellow pages and we're rentable and saleable from co-op shops to ten long tops and fifty B in cap. He mentioned the yellow pages, so obviously you guys had that over in England. Um the yellow pages were amazing. You could look up anybody's phone number within like a 50 mile radius of you and on the yellow part of the book obviously it was like all the businesses advertised. But it was amazing because you're like, I want to call Stevie. And you know, you're like, Stevie, oh yeah, Stevie Brown. So you look it up, oh, there he is, Stevie Brown. Oh, there's his address. If I want to send him something, his address is public. You can see that. And there's his phone number and you give him a call on the phone. He goes, hey, what's up, man? Squirrel. Oh, hey, buddy, how you doing? What can I do for you, you know? No problem. It was like a public doxing magazine that they sent out. <laughs> Nowadays, you call somebody up, like, hey, uh, what's going on, Stevie? Hey, uh, who gave you this number? You know? Everyone's so, it's so different now. So different. Anyways, back to the fire plug. Great green screen. That's awesome. Tootin' men, well get tight. We get well oiled. They love doing the knick-knack paddywhack. This, uh, that, that, that rhythm, that knick-knack paddywhack theme, whatever. They love doing that. Every night with a pick in paraffin, have a little spree. S.O. Blues and S.O.D. Two tin men, scared of rust. Circuit breakers bent or bust. With a slow start, you depart. Must have a cough. All your weak nuts could fall off. <laughs> Two tin men, One Good night time. at a robot dance, I met a robot girl by chance. Wires and bumpers round the rear, two big headlamps out to hear. <laughs> <laughs> ever seen. One was red and one was green. When he hugged her, she said, Mister, take your hands off my transistor. <laughs> Weeks on end, I kept my distance till she lowered her resistance. One and one and two said I, let's add up and multiply. Soon they had the robot son, weight at birth was half a ton. Had its mummy's high by ear and daddy's differential gear. <laughs> a little bit from each parent, you know. <laughs> Led a happy robot life with my little robot wife. Everything was quite okay, then her mother came to stay. Now his lounge is damn near sunk, neat the pile of metal junk. What's that heap of rubbish for? Rubbish? That's my ma-in-law. <laughs> I'm a high-precision robot with solid silver skin. I'm a cross between a hobbit and an empty baking tin. My face is signed and dated. This is a trash bin. I'm high class. Both my legs are chromium plated and his head is solid brass. Who's oh, the big success with the young princess? Our heroes in space war. I think they did a good job casting uh, Princess Leia and um, Luke Skywalker because that guy looks like Mark Hamill and uh, the girl kind of looks. Um, like Princess Leia. Oh, what the, um, I can't think of her name. I'll think of it. Hold on. Walker, what a lady fair, what a lovely pair. She really is some. Carrie Fisher. Walker, she kissed him like a thousand volts or hugs and easy, easy. Carrie Fisher. I can't remember Carrie Fisher. Wow. But of course, was lost when his wires got crossed, and now he's easy, easy. <laughs> Doing Space Wars 1 was a load of fun in a battle with the Empire ships. We nearly had our microchips. When a rocket took a plummet and a toggle off the grommet, I was fighting on with my big end on and a rattle in the tin plus paws. Till a laser with a crackle put the mockers on my tackle in Space Wars. Those poor ladies dancing behind him. Do you see these goofy dances they had to do? They all got the same, like, look on their face, like, what am I doing here? And the, the dances are just a little, I don't know, nowadays it's pretty outdated, pretty funny to watch, but either way. 
Dewey Space was too with a dose of flu. I was running very cold and hot. With a wheezy little you know what. And the dicky carburetor, which has got a little better, but I got quite throat when I went and caught my antenna in the air locked doors. Now it's got a little dangle of a funny sort of angle in Space Wars. Princess L, she looks a swell, done up in her off-white togs. What a shock! Beneath that frock, she's a docker from the Isle of Dogs. <laughs> Sid looks sad, he's driven mad, in his little no-score drawers. The Space Invader, Big Duff Ada, in Space War. When the war is won and the battle's done, and they stick us in the studio store. And we're hanging up behind the door. The and my plaster rusted and my belly button's busted. Then our one big fear is we're brought back here and we're painted up to look like new. And we're thrown on to be shown on Dr. Who. <laughs> to be moving to the scope it. War comes for Dr. Who. Robots attacking the robots. <laughs> oh! <laughs> they neutralized Ronnie Corbett. <laughs> He's been neutralized. They <laughs> neutralized Ronnie Parker. <laughs> or not. Oh. Uh, I totally swore Ronnie Parker was getting it. I did. Oh, man. That was good. Um... A lot of kind of just droning on singing, but pardon me. Ooh, different tunes though they did it to. They always like to do uh, that knick knack patty whack one. That's kind of cool. But uh, Carrie Fisher, I can't remember. I couldn't remember. That's crazy. Anyways, folks, I'm out of here. It's been four on it's Friday. It's been a great time. Uh, I thought we had two really good um, episodes this week. Two fun ones, anyways. Um, and uh, yeah, it's I'm out. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, and uh, they've neutralized Ronnie C. Mm -hmm.